Michaela Fields teaches at the Peace Street campus of the Met, a small public high school in Providence, Rhode Island. <laughs> the Met, by personalizing education one student at a time, has achieved outstanding results. On average, 75% of its students enroll in college, and 74% of Met students who entered college have either graduated or are still enrolled. One key to the Met's success is Michaela and the staff's commitment to the entire school, a commitment that requires each teacher to be a generalist by being an academic advisor for individualized learning plans, a manager of student internships, and a counselor. Do you think it's outside forces that make us strong? In a way, you look at a kindergarten teacher, which is really a generalist. They look at any kid that comes in. This kid doesn't speak very well yet. I got to work on this. This kid's starting to read. I got to work on this. This kid still hits everybody. I got to work on this. So they're paying attention to that kid. We want to do that exact same thing and just at a more sophisticated level. The rewards of being a generalist are A, the walls are down, you can explore everywhere and anywhere. That you can take a thread of learning and you don't have to hand it off in 45 minutes. You can stay with it. So you have the opportunity to really go in depth with kids. In particular, you have the very deep satisfaction as a teacher and an educator of knowing that you have been able to impact that kid's learning in a deep way. What am I going to give you in return? Teachers, who at the Met are known as advisors, stay with their group of 15 students for four years to ensure student success inside and outside the classroom. I always referred myself as not your average female, um, and it wasn't your average type of school, it wasn't your average type of environment, so I ended up here. I really just wanted to work with teenagers to be able to work with them in a positive way. And I need to really be honest, part of it was because I knew I would be able to pursue my passion of dance while I'm teaching teenagers. I knew that I would be able to, if not be able to go out and take dance classes, I knew I would be able to start a dance troupe here in addition to being able to teach students. So that was, that's really what drew me. At the Met, each student has a quarterly individualized learning plan that combines academic work with the internship experience. The construction of the plan occurs in three steps, with the student, parent, and advisor serving as the learning plan team. First, the student is asked to research, explore, and then choose a personal interest. Second, the learning team identifies a specific area the student needs to improve upon and that becomes the quarterly goal. So that's something that everybody... Finally, a spreadsheet is constructed that lists all assignments, deadlines, and action items for the quarter. Students receive the support they need to complete their learning plans in advisory, with learning specialists, and through classes taken at a local community college. How many people think? that they could benefit from this straight big things to do today. The date, you write it down, 1 to 12. If it's completed, you check it off. No, David, you don't think... As an academic advisor, Michaela you know, coaches her students to achieve the goals and deadlines laid out in their individual learning plans. I'm a manager when every Monday morning we have a check-in. Um, check-in how the weekend went, but to be able to get them started on their day and on their week. Set realistic goals for after school, whether you're staying here after school to get stuff done, whatever it is. Um, and then I would say for the week. Yes. So I hand out their work, their Excel spreadsheets, which has their work for the quarter. And then I have them set their goals. Um, I go through the day so they can understand what, what it's going to look like and how, so they can kind of organize the independent work time. They know they have a structured independent work time or not. 
well, at the say, end uh, of every week, I collect I all of their work that was due on Monday. And we have a check-in. Okay, you set these goals at the beginning of the week. Did you accomplish them? And if you did, what helped you accomplish them? If you did not, what got in your way? And then how are we going to start over? You know, what's going to be next for next week? Are we going to set some more realistic goals? That's our new thing versus setting goals, just regular setting goals. Our new thing, which I don't know what took so long to figure out, <laughs> set realistic goals. So, yeah. First thing you're going to be looking at, what, what are that, what is bacteria, what does it look like, where does it... Michaela is also responsible for her students' learning growth in all academic subjects. I said there's good bacteria and there's bacteria that's bad for you, that affects your body and makes you sick. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Parents' major concern about the Met is math and science. Those are the main two things. They understand English, okay, we have book groups and things like that, but... Um, how is my student going to get math? How is my student going to get science? How are they going to get that through project work? How are they going to get that in advisory? They were one advisor for four years. What does that mean? They're not going to change classes and report cards? How are they going to get graded? So they're really, really concerned about that. Everybody needs their product, yes? yes. At the Nobody Met, academic product. learning combines communication skills with empirical, quantitative, and social reasoning through a framework emphasizing real-world concepts. What characteristics of this company would you want me want to know before you invest in? Yes. Isn't it our best interest to like invest in something that gives them back more dividends? I had a few students who were interested in real-world learning, on being on their own, on getting car insurance and, and getting a car and getting a job and things. And um, I connected it to them mainly by just looking at the whole math aspect of it. Um, and we pretty much did it on our own. We went, in, went into the newspapers and were able to look at different prices of cars. But on that same level, I was able to bring in interest. I was able to bring in percentages. I was able to bring in some algebraic um, equations and formulas, which made sense to them on a different level. It's, it's really cool. That's one great thing about the Met, that I was able to be innovative and creative. She makes learning fun, like, you know how in other traditional high schools they'll throw a book in front of you and tell you read this and this, and, you know, not thoroughly explain it, but just say read this and this and answer the questions, we're going to have a test on this. Michaela makes it fun, like, we had this real life learning, you know, trying to get an apartment and stuff like that, like, what you're going to do after high school. What about low? What about how much they went down? Mm. So is that, is that a good time to invest your money in no. them? Well, no, I'm, a, just, I'm no, just good question. I'm just saying you said that like, when the change goes down, the price goes down, so that may be a good chance for you to get in there. Mm -hmm. and then... The challenges of being a teacher who's a generalist is I have to relearn. I have to relearn a lot. A lot of it is being able to have confidence in myself and know that I really have to go back and use my resources. I, I have, fortunately, I'm one of those students who kept some of my textbooks from college. I'll do the best I can through internet, through using resources around the school. And then if I have to go to the students for help, I, I, I do that. I learned a lot by going through this. Like these, a lot of activities I found were broken down so much easier for me than they were when I was in college. Like I told you, this was my thing. So I'm able to learn as I'm going, which is wonderful. But I think it makes the students feel good when I'm able to lean on them also. Help me with this, you know what I mean? Help me help you. And I'm also honest with them. This is what you want to learn. I did this, but I have to relearn it. So give me, you know, be patient with me and, and give me a little room, you know, for error. Red and white blood cells, they fight at each other. And, like, sometimes, like, they could give out. And that's how, like, you could die. If we have a student who wants to go deeper on an academic subject, and it's definitely not my specialty or another advisor's specialty, one, we definitely have a huge connection with Community College of Rhode Island where we allow students to be able to go over there and take classes in specific academic areas. We have some students who we brought in some tutors um, from colleges who were able to help them with advanced math, with pre-calculus. We try our best to make sure that they're well-rounded. 